Hey guys, Todd here. Right, you'll have to excuse me, but I am in lazy sod mode tonight. Uh, just in, had my dinner, and uh, I want to do a review, but uh, I'm too lazy to get the, the posh camera out, so I'm doing this on my, my old webcam one that I used to use all the time. And uh, yeah, this is going to be a lazy arse review. Sorry, Gary. Uh, this is for the armour. Now, uh, Damien from uh, well, from whatever his channel's called, the guy with the hat and the swears a lot and southern guy, uh, a bloody good vaping. Uh, you can see it in his channel. He just reviewed this uh, the other day, I think it was. Uh, this is this is bloody awesome. Um, um, now, this is my Hades, which is, you know, the big 26, 650 battery mod that I reviewed. Um, and, do you know, it's great. It's a brilliant mod, but everything just kind of looks a bit naff on top of it. I think Gary at the uh, Kernel Vapes uh, dropped me an email or dropped me a, a message and said, do you fancy having a review of this new rebuildable dripper that I've got? And this thing arrived and it's awesome. The scary thing about this is, okay, it's, it's a big hoofing huge rebuildable dripping atomizer. If this atomizer was shrunk down to 22 millimeters, it would still be a bloody great rebuildable dripping atomizer. The fact that it just looks so good on the Hades is just a bonus. <laughs> it's great. Uh, now I'm not going to do a rebuild here. Uh, I'll. Uh, I'm just going to be completely lazy. Uh, this costs, now this is the scary bit, this costs $34.99. It's a bargain. It's an utter bargain. It's 28.5 millimetres in diameter. That's right. And uh, it's got a height of 36.7 millimetres, according to Gary's measurements on his website. <laughs> Sorry, let, we'll change the camera and we'll give you a close up at this. Check this out. <laughs> it's massive. Right. Uh, do you know, it's just pretty stunning. It's polished stainless steel. Um, we've got an adjustable 510 pin here. You have to adjust it from the inside, which I'll show you. Uh, we've got engraving etching on here, a mambo armor mambo or manbo i was calling it mambo that's just wrong manbo um it's just nice um now the nice thing about it is that the top cap unscrews it's a bit like the zenith v2 so that unscrews and you can see it's straight into your chamber and it's great for when you're filling it up because you can just pour your juice straight in uh, I should be able to get this airflow control ring off of here now as well. Now, the biggest air hole size is about 2.7 millimetres I make it out to be here. And you can run it in joule 2.7 mil. It's pretty hoofing huge. <laughs> and you've got a 2 mil and a 1.5 mil as well. And you can see you've got your air holes here. Uh, there is, just double check here. Yeah, there's there's no option. You're, you're running it in the dual coil all the time here. Uh, but, you know, I can just slide that ring over there like so. And you can see the size. It does slide around freely, you know when the top cap but it's better if you back off the top cap just a tiny little bit 
when you're going to adjust this. There we go, there's my big daddy build in there. So I've got uh, a couple of micro coils hiding in there and some cotton going on. Now, if you want to do a quad build in this, you're, you're in luck because it has holes going through, you know, you've got a hole going through from 9 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock and 3 o'clock. So you can put a hole through each side, uh, which makes a quad build so, so easy in this thing. Uh, I'm a bit of a chicken and jewel build, jewel coil is about as much as I can do. Uh, you can see here on this top post, uh, if you take this screw out, you can actually adjust the height of the centre post, which adjusts the height of the 510 connection in the bottom. So just undo the screw, adjust, and then put this screw back in, and that's you. But as you can see, it just vapes away. <laughs> Bloody treat, it really does. Uh, I'm going to put the big daddy air holes in front of the coils there. Pop that in front and then just screw this down. Now, because of the diameter of this, you can get a sh what a load of juice you can get in here. You really can. Uh, it's very impressive. So I'll pop this back on here. You see, you know, the airflow control ring, it still turns about freely there. It's not bad at all. It's actually better than some high-end devices I've seen. Now, I said at the start you couldn't run this on a single coil. I was absolutely wrong because there is a third air hole in the airflow control ring. And you can see there that that's blocked off. And that one's blocked off. So you can run it as a single coil. Shows you what I know. Right, let's go for a vape again. Now, I've got, totally honest, I find this really surprising. I don't know who Manbo are. I've never heard of them before. Uh, some Grant's Vanilla Custard. Uh, but they have uh, basically, whatever, however they've done it, like I say, if this had been a, if I had seen somebody like Vicious Ann or, or one of these well-known companies releasing this, I wouldn't have been, a, I really wouldn't have been surprised to see a price tag of about £100 on this. The fact that it's selling for what it is, if you have a 26650 mod, it's a no-brainer, this thing. It really is a no-brainer. Um... It's really well screwed together and it vapes bloody great. It really does. Uh, that's me got two big air holes open, so <laughs> right, let's go for it. Coils are a bit too wet. Um, this puzzles me. This this really puzzles me. I also I don't know if they're just some uh, one of your. I don't, I say this without sounding horrible. Just one of your big Chinese companies that are chucking stuff out. Well, however they've done it, or or however it got here to me, and however much it cost, I don't really care. All I know is that. It's an excellent dripper. It is so easy to build on. It's just, you know, if you've been used to building um, little micro coils and sticking them inside, you know, 17 millimeter dripping atomizers and you're like that kind of thing. When you're doing it on something that's this big, it's like so easy. It really is so easy. Uh, it's a, a joy to build on. Uh, I've, what else can I try it on? I've got um, I've got my vapor giant here as well, which is a bit bigger than this. Uh, 
there it is on the vapor giant. That gives you an idea how the, the diameter of the vapor giant. Um, right, we can round this up. I think I, I've said enough. Um, I don't have to, because I've not done a rebuild on this one. Uh, the, listen, the reason I've not done a rebuild is because I'm a lazy sod and uh, it's just so damn easy to build on. The only thing is it's the perfect diameter for the Hades, but the Hades has got that raised bit on it, so it doesn't sit completely flush, which is my only gripe. I mean, I'm really tempted to sand the Hades down so that, you know, this actually looks flush. Because right now it's got that kind of gap going on. Which does, you know, sets my, my twitch off. The thing is... It's got a tiny, I mean, when I say tiny, I'm, I'm talking tiny in relation to the size of the device. Uh, if you were to scale it down, it does have quite a small chamber. I mean, that's the smallest air holes, and it's quite a warm vape. It really is quite warm. Um... That's it. I've nothing else to add to this one. Nothing else to add. Uh, I see Gary's got 15 left. Uh, my advice would be, I got this free for review. Uh, I've nothing to gain from this uh, at all, but I would honestly say if you like dripping, if you have a 2650 mod, go and buy one. You'll love it. You will absolutely love it. I guarantee it. That's it. Thank you to Gary from Kernel Vapes, as always, for sending this on for review. To you guys, thank you for watching and putting up with me during this lazy-ass review. <laughs> we'll catch you later. Cheers now. Bye.